Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. We will get started shortly. Happy weekend, happy Friday. Have a drink, tune in, get some popcorn, enjoy. Come hang out, it'll be a good time. I am excited. Let's close that. Let's close that. Close, close, close. All right. All right. Uh, for those of you that are trying to potentially speak now, um, I've made some changes to the live stream settings. Um, actually, uh, hang on. Give me a minute here. Let me get started. Uh, do, 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 do. Hello. Happy weekend. How's it going, everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a really good day. I'm having a good weekend. Everything's going well. Uh, let's get started. Uh, quit, quit. Um, some of you guys might have noticed that the live stream settings have changed. Uh, I've made. I've decided to make changes to the live stream uh, chat. Um, to I've made a few changes. So in order to be able to chat, I've changed it to subscribers. Uh, there are new settings that YouTube allows. So you have to be a subscriber for at least one month before you can participate in the live chat. So that hopefully will influence others to want to participate in live chat by becoming a subscriber gives people an opportunity to be able to be part of the live stream, hang out with us. So I'm really excited for that. So um, if you can't speak right now, uh, please subscribe and I will talk to you guys during live stream in maybe a month. Uh, otherwise, if not, uh, then obviously it's not, uh, not your cup of tea and it's not something for you to be. And I wish you very well in all your travels. But all right, so we're going to get started. Um, looks like there are some people that have some dailies to do. Party, 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 daily 105. Let's join here. And yeah, we're going to live stream it. Uh, we've done this particular one before. And this should be good. Let's do this. I haven't told everybody. Let's get started. Um, we're going to obviously wait a few minutes here while we get uh, the stream going and get people added to the live stream, which will be really nice, and to get added to the party, which will be great. Oh, one thing I have not done today was get... Uh, I need to pick up a few of these so we have some vitality for... Nope, not there. Warehouse keeper, private warehouse with claim an item. Um, there we go. Um, let's do 20 of these, I guess. Yeah, that should be good enough. All right, let's see. Um, can we just jump? Nope. Let's get some XP while we wait. Um, Ayanna invited us. Oh, we're in the crater. All right, let's go check it out. Uh, Olrin Ivory Tower Crater. Let's go smash some face with Ayanna. Get it going. It'll be sweet, sweet action. Lelordi, what's going on? Welcome. Old Naya. Nice. You're still on Naya? You still rocking out over there? 
Uh, that's super cool if you are. Nice. Uh, let's take a look at the maps. Uh, let's go see what um, what's happening. Oh, we got to get all of our things. Buff action. Some hot buff action. Come on. Let's get it going. Bear with me, people. Bear with me. Um, all right. So, um, actually, let's just assist him. Perhaps we can just stay around this area and run around. Oh, you! I, I saw your message. It sounded like you were a Kronos trying to make the move to here, but um, uh, obviously you redacted that message, so I'm sorry for letting everybody know if they hadn't read it yet. <laughs> um, perhaps you'll put a different message out there, but welcome to the stream, uh, Le Lorde and Onar Aslan. Very cool. Bang, smash, smash, bang. Uh, we're going to do Aiden dailies very soon. Should be able to contribute some more now. feel like we're doing pretty well. Things are, are nice. Bam, bam, bam. Got some range on those arrows. Pretty deep. It's pretty good. But we can kill pretty pretty quick here. And now we're out of vitality. I might have to pick up some more vitality potions before we go do what we're gonna do. Um that would probably be ideal. Easy mobs, yeah. Um, it's kind of unfair mode right now. <laughs> uh, at least, I mean, I'm 110, I've got some okay gear. So we're doing all right. So, I mean, we're green, we're in green mob territory, so it should be pretty quick. Not too bad. Perhaps we can go move a little bit differently um, and not deal with those people. Hola, hola. Might not be amazing. You know what we could do is this. Kind of doesn't help. Nope. Not nearly as good as I was expecting it to be. Which is fine. Seems like the party's filling up pretty quickly, so we'll probably be going over to do Aiden dailies pretty quick here. Oh, 
Welcome everybody that is uh, made it to the stream. Thanks for coming out. Good to see you. Um, if you're coming in a little bit later, uh, it was I mentioned that we made some changes to. Well, you probably see it in the chat window. Clubber Stomp has turned on subscribers only mode. So you have to be a subscriber of the channel for at least a month to be able to participate in live streams. I think that's uh, a nice feature that uh, YouTube has added. So it shows loyalty to channels and things like that and allows for more participation from those who um, enjoy the channel, which I think is going to be really good. And then there's also a members only uh, chat which I did not turn on I feel like that might be a little bit excessive at this point but if we grow and there's really just a crazy amount of um, chat window then we might have to make some changes to that but not something that we're going to do right now but something that could come in the future which I'm quite excited about So one thing I want to try tonight is I want to check out Tanner Canyon solo. I would like to try Feel the Silence solo and I would also like to try um, Alligator Island solo to see if those are places that we could essentially start testing with what's our best XP place. Um, which I think will be a good thing. Bye. So I think we have one more one more spot left. For party time. Yeah, alligator one by one. Um, I when I tested there last time on Kronos, I had a modified uh, single target macro. I had single target plus a Sonic Star, and I killed fast enough. And it was actually better XP than Tanner for the gear I had at the time, which I thought was really interesting. So. I would like to test this again now that I'm in a new area, I have new gear, I have different things, and see how well it works. Um, should be interesting. I'm excited to go take a look. Um, last time I checked, uh, last, well, earlier this week, I was able to solo. Um, oh, I did okay in Tanner. But uh, if on a, if on un, if undying will had kicked off, I couldn't survive and I would end up dying. But because um, during undying will, yes, you're invincible, but after those five seconds, you still can't um, you can't get more health with VR. So you're stuck, and then I get overwhelmed and die. But now it's not an issue. So. I'm a Titan 110 2. 2. I'm not a Titan. I am a Maestro, my friend. Um, but yes, uh, I am a tier. So, similar. Uh, you're actually soloing at. Oh, Field of Whispers. Kind of a long road to get.
to get to 111. Yeah, I'm 22% in to 110. Um, oh, I think we've got a full party here. I think we're good. Okay, uh, let's go to Aiden. Uh, but yes, um, I'm interested to see how well we do. So before we go there, we're going to pick up uh, some more of these guys. Uh, private warehouse. Turn this off. Uh, claim from private warehouse. Where are they? We're going to take... We'll just take 100 because it will be easiest for the math. And... We'll turn all this stuff on and get ready to go. Boom. Ready. So we'll see. We'll see. We're going to do some a uh, little bit of testing tonight. Um, spend 30 minutes in each place. Do, run a timer. See what we get. Um, I'll do a more... Two, uh, one, 110 as well. Gotcha. That makes sense. That makes sense. 107, 99%. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, baby. That means that this is going to put you over the edge. That means 108, baby. Um, gotcha. You're, 10, you're 110. 110. One, 110. Um, that's sweet, man. Um, it's good to... 110's a, a huge, huge uh, goal to reach, and it, it's a it's a great place to to hit, which is really nice. All right, let's get this party started. Let's do it. All right, go go go! Smashing of the face. Look at all those buffs. Oh. You know what a cool name would be? Buff Daddy. <laughs> Tell me that's not an awesome name. Buff Daddy. That is awesome. Bye. By the way, thanks for all the videos. Um, I make a great, great job. Real dedication, and I'll support that. GG's. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, uh, anybody that's made videos before knows it, it's not an easy task to make videos. And um, I like the game so much that I really want to help everybody who would be coming into the game progress or get better. And I enjoy the game so much that, yeah, I want to be able to keep it going and uh, help bring more people in and make good content. Um, my first Lineage 2 video was in 2017, and it just took off. And I was like, well, okay, I guess that's what we're going to... Well, I didn't really want to do it, but I, I was at first. And then I was like, well, all right, let's take a, let's take a, a, a good look at it. And it ended up really doing well, so that's kind of what we do now. So I'm excited. It's pretty awesome. It's been like uh, four years later. Blocked invincibility. Whoa. Oh, I make them great job. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So I do put a lot of effort into them. I'm always looking for constructive feedback and ways to improve. So I'm also looking for that as well. So um, I'm always open to uh, constructive criticism on how I can be better and what I can do to help make better videos for everybody. So that's the idea. Um, that's what we want to do. Mana for sanity. Get everybody some recommendations. Not you, not me. Oh yeah, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I I picked what you were <laughs> what you were mentioning. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Oh yeah, baby. 
we're doing well with the clan level up too. You know, look at this. We are three quarters of the way through level four, and we are almost level five, which is huge because we can add, at level four or five we can add a uh, alliance, and then we can also add the um. we can add the uh, elite members so the people that are uh, most helpful to the clan that are my are going to be my officers and stuff i think it's going to be pretty awesome i'm excited about that so i don't i haven't decided what we're going to do with the alliance yet whether or not we're going to join an alliance with another clan or whether or not we're going to just start our own um i haven't determined what that's going to be or what that's going to look like um Sorry, I didn't turn on my macro. That was a little wonky. Um, but yes, so that's something that we have to decide and figure out. But uh, things are going to go well with that. So I'm excited. Hair's mom is here. He's just hanging out over there. <laughs> Congratulations. Your raid was successful. Two hundred fifty thousand P attack, not bad. Without BR, nice, interesting. Turned you off. Two fifty nine. Not bad, not bad. It'd be different if we had I have Berserker on. Be interesting to see what it was with uh, BR, but uh, All steps in the right direction. We're getting better and better. Your raid was successful. Just for... Let's see what kind of damage we're putting out. Congratulations. Your raid was successful. 45,000 still not awesome. We're getting there. My weapon's not the greatest, so I get it. Alright, let's turn that off just a little bit. Kind of insane with all the damage text running. I don't know how people keep that on. That's the, personally, I don't like it on. If I could turn these off too, I would, and only leave the messages for what comes with 8, you know, MP or uh, XP. And if I could turn all that stuff off too, I would, but I haven't figured out how. If you guys know how to turn all of this scrolling text off, that'd be great. But still leave the this stuff, the rewards and uh, the what you get from 
each boss. Ding, ding, ding. Nice. Jesus. That's awesome. Fantastic. Gluteo, all mobs, Crawfin, IT. Okay, yeah, let's do it. baby smash some face Still a little bit difficult for me. I'm stuck. I will hang back a tad. <laughs> Still don't have the damage that I need, but we're getting better, which is good. I really need to improve my weapon. I think that would be quite a tremendous thing.
Yeah. He dies. How would you like to die? Really? Buddy. Sir, you are incorrect. Go to the left, he says. Go to the left. I'm actually streaming to you right now, but mostly for me, I can watch my 16 year olds continue his path when I'm at work. Oh, nice. Awesome. Very cool. I like it. out of I'm out of mana no MP baby sad face all right well we'll just do this For some reason I'm not gathering any MP. Don't know why. Guess I'll just have to deal with it, whatever. They it's bugged in parties sometimes. It's weird. Mana drinker. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Alert everyone. They fixed mana two or three patches ago. Interesting. Well, I'm certainly not gaining any. I probably just don't do enough damage here for it to matter. Yeah, we, I mean, we're killing pretty slowly. I mean, it's quick enough. We're, we're doing well, but it could be a lot better, yes. Croffins is going to be fun. <laughs> Excellente.
Damos, welcome. Thanks for coming out. Many people quitting Innova because many reasons. Server without PvP, high prices, etc., etc. Also, NC West opening a new server. What do you think? Um, yeah, there are people that have got, got. Hang on one second, guys. Go to Gluten, Windy Hill. Gluten. Windy Hill. Kill mobs to full MP. Okay. I had no idea. Oh, because they're all... Ah! One. One full MP. Alright, we're good. Okay, back to Aiden. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, N neat. Um, yes, uh, NC West is opening an Essence server, which Core already has, or EU already has. Um, I particularly, I, I don't plan on playing it or testing it or even looking at it um, in the slightest. Not even to look at the Dark Knight, which I know that's what people are clamoring about. Um, but yes, some people have, uh, have been leaving, uh, core for various reasons. They say there's not items on the market. Um, I think at certain levels, yeah, there's, I mean, there's no, there's things that need to be improved. Um, but you could say that about any lineage two server that's out there. So that's nothing that's just... Subject to only core, I mean, you could say the same thing about Kronos or Naya, so they all have their challenges. Um, but yeah, there's been a number of people leaving. I, I mean, I guess if you, hey, if you're not happy, uh, no, a Aiden is not uh, Awakening. Um, that is an essence server. So it's going to be different than this. It won't be the same. And it'll be a gross pay to win. And I mean, if NA is the best. Yeah, low damage. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm, I'm not killing or producing enough damage to, to make an impact to, to get my, uh, my MP back. Um, still have some a level one yeah a level one dragon weapon would come soon that would be nice um yeah i hope so um that will definitely make an improvement um maybe not this month uh maybe next month we'll see i'm i'm in the mode of adina so i'm buying and selling on the market and spending most of my time trying to make more Adina rather than farming and leveling. Uh, so I'm buying and selling shots. I'm making shots. I'm making books. I have uh, ch -ch 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 books to sell for people. Uh, we definitely have stuff, so I'm not, not too worried about it. But yes, the idea is to get a dragon weapon soon. The problem is I get a benefit. If I have 250, 200 to 250 billion, if I have that, I can benefit from three or four really great items um, more so than I can if I just get a dragon weapon. That's a big impact. So... That's the way unless you... Uh, have runes and two or three trillion. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a Yule, so my my dragon weapon's going to be cheaper than most everybody's. Uh, or not not everybody's, but um, uh, definitely a Yule's because those are very expensive. Um, I don't plan on having or needing anything that's archer-related because I'm not an archer. But uh, yeah, I hope to get a dragon weapon at some point. Hopefully the next month or two.
Oh, some people have some items for sale. Best prices. Well, that's good to know. I mean, I'm always looking to uh, find things for sale. So it's nice that there's a va so everybody has a different perspective to your question, Deimos. Um, Oh, I have a dragon ranch shirt, so I'm I'm good there. But um, yeah, it, it's perspective, right? So if you're a top player, you know, ranking wise, um, the game isn't really all that appealing to many of these guys because there's not more content, and there's not more items for them to start to acquire. So the game is probably boring for them. So that's a thing. Um, so they have to kind of solve that problem, right? For me, there's an abundance of items for everything that I need because I need pretty much everything. So um, it's a different perspective from mine compared to some of the guys that are at the top. So. But I, I get their I, I, I get their problem, so and I, I get the problem from the other standpoint of the new fresh player coming in where um damn, I fired that off and didn't need to. Shit, that was a waste of a scroll. So I won't get the benefit of it at the end. Uh, this will probably take us longer than uh maybe. Um uh, the new player coming in doesn't have items either, so it's tough. Um, so yeah, I get it from both ideas, from both sides, so they need to balance the game a little bit more, and I mean, if people keep leaving, they have to do something about it to either bring those players back or keep the players from leaving. Uh, they have to solve that problem. This way is no longer active. The way is clear.
What you think is that they're milking the cow while it lasts. Maybe I'm just too pessimistic. It's quite possible. Um, I'm going to hang back because if I get close, I will die because I don't have the armor to be able to deal with it. Um, I don't think the issue has any solution. Nova does whatever NC tells them to. There's no tries to understand what the server situation is at the moment. You might be right. Um, BR plus brooch on last stage. Plan B, die. Um... Yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the problems are completely. Um, there's a lack of items. There's things that need to be improved. Um, there's a number of things. Um, I don't know that anybody is trying to listen. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. Um, I'll get, I'll die if I get close to the queen, so I can't really help out. And last time I did this, I didn't get any XP because they killed the queen while I was down and nobody rezzed me, so. Um, yeah, it's tough. Um, if income come stop starts going down for the month, I would imagine they'd have to do something about it um, if they wanted to keep you know, income the same. Uh, if they really, if people really want to change, they'd stop participating in the events. Um, if they could, if the players could go one month without purchasing anything from the store, it would send a very clear message that change needs to happen, but it won't happen. But I don't know that it will happen because um, the players can't band together enough to um, make that a reality, right? They, they, all of them or most of them will take the opportunity to try to catch up or pass the other people. Oh, well, nobody else is buying stuff, so I'm going to. Um, so, but I, I really do believe if if everybody could band together, all the players, all together, drop their bullshit and drop their drama for one month, that's all it would take. One month of not purchasing anything from the store at all. Nothing. Zero. It would send a very clear message to Innova and NCSoft that we're not going to take their nonsense anymore, and if we need to, we'll just straight stop playing. So, I think that would make a that would make that would make things that would make them listen. They wouldn't have a choice. Um, I mean, they'd have a choice, but then the players would have to then band and decide to stay behind that. So. Would they do it? I don't know. I don't think the players can band together enough to to do that. Plan B. What's plan B? Fuck, I'm not going to get any XP this time. God damn it. This is exactly why I don't go to the end boss on this one. I better get rezzed. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, and others are down too. Oh no. Okay, um, let me help out here. Alright, so I'm out of... I 
I don't have any more blessed scrolls, so I can't help with that. I'm going to have to pick some up. Can we fight her now, or... Whoa. Ouch. Holy shiz. What is this? Her rage. Amplifies the rage against target. Sharply increasing physical and magical attack. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't res anybody else. I don't have any more scrolls. I'm out of scrolls. So I'm kind of stuck on them. Burp, burp, burp. I don't think we had. We were close. We didn't have enough damage to kill her in the one shot. Or the one uh, BR or whatever. Womp womp. This instance is pretty hard if you don't have a crazy amount of damage. I do not. I am missing one jewel. Sads. Sad panda. Womp womp. Do a Leroy Jenkins on this right now. <laughs> uh, my mind is fun. Five minutes? Oh, that's cutting it close, man. Oh, is it on? We can go?
Hmm. There you go. That's what it should look like at the end. <laughs> uh, don't use your HP to do momentum. It doesn't matter. It I it it doesn't matter. This is doesn't it doesn't do enough to help one way or another. Or hurt one way or another. It's not I don't have the I don't have the attribute defense. I don't have enough. So Yeah, I guess every little bit helps, but um No party return, that's cool. I guess I'll use one of these up because I have it. It ended. We're good. We made it. And now we can go do IT. Yeah, I had I had I have it. It all matters if there's uh, enough to. It's kind of relative. That fight's really hard for me in not having the, um, all right, we can switch to this. Um, the killing power and the defense, it, the end is tough. I can do most of it, but I can't, I can't survive at the end, regardless of whether or not I have energy charging on or off or rolling thunder on or off, it doesn't matter. If I'm close enough, I, I die, just not even doing anything, so. Soon enough, though, a couple months will be pretty, I feel we'll be in a really good spot in a couple of months. Things will change when I if I get a decent. Um, I've got to round out a few more things, and things will be pretty good. Forgotten skills up to thirty will be extremely huge, which I might focus on next. Um, Radiant circlet would be helpful, and a weapon. And then start working on upgrading everything, you know, yeah, level 7 artifacts, uh, greater, you know, or getting more Gathions, greater Gathions, improving those, getting a better Angel's Ring or a Dragon Ring, stuff like that, you know. Getting an R110 set is going to be pretty big. Don't fire that off again. Yeah, step by step, you know, small improvements, you know, try to get one or two pieces of, a, you know, decent equipment every month. That's the idea. Um, I'm not in any hurry. I mean, if I had all the gear now, now then, I, then it would just be leveling and then I'd be bored because all I would be doing is leveling because that's what I would need. So. 
I feel like I'm at a good place gear wise where I can still try to acquire gear and continue to level and still be doing kind of all the same things. So. Gear, gear, gear. All the Adenas. Nice, uh, so you were working on jewels. Yeah, I have to, um, the next one I wanna get is my vital jewel. Um, jewels. Um, I've got three graders at this point, so if I get a vital jewel to replace my diamond, that'll be good. And then obviously I wanna get these up to grader as well. So then we'll have broach BR, which will be really nice. That'll be, that'll be big. Um, that'll be really huge. Um, I do have the 15 star signs to upgrade our seed bracelet to level three. And then we can get a, is it the Leo, the P attack one? We can get the Leo, so I can get a Leo, which will be another big upgrade. And then I need a necklace, and then work on our Atlas. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not a necklace, an earring, work on our atlas earring, a radiant, set, a better belt, a couple things, we're doing okay, uh, better, you know, I've got level four um, artifacts, we can get those up to level seven, start working on all that stuff, things are going well, can't complain. We're in a good spot. We're in a very good spot. No, streams are, are 720 um, right now, just because I don't have the I don't have the gear to stream at 1080. I need to replace my computer before I do that. It's it's a little too much. Um, I can't do everything I need to do when I stream at 1080. Yeah, the jewels are good. Um, we're doing okay. Yeah, if I can get a, a greater vital, I'll have broach PR, which will be nice. And then I can work on getting these upgraded. They're a little expensive, uh, but I saw a greater three ruby for 50 billion on the market. And I was like, damn, I wish I had 50 billion. Um, I would totally buy it, but I don't, unfortunately. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. We're in a good spot. Um, 
today I went into corroded I made almost a hundred um, full full pull so it's 92 so I'm not killing fast enough to get all of the things yet but that's way better than we did before because before I was only getting 30 um, yeah, skill reduced, man. The, the minus uh, cooldown is, is super important to have. So I, I want to run Sonic Star on a loop. <laughs> if I can run that on a loop, that would be sweet. Um, it, has a pl it has more than a 50% crit rate. So yeah, I if I could cycle these two over and over, oh man, that'd be great. I got it down to 12 seconds. So if I can get that down to... A much lower deal? Oh man, that'll be nice. Uh, we are done. Yeah, the cooldown is, is key. I think we're all done. Are we gonna get a party return? We did, all right, sweet. I like it. It worked out. Uh, decent, um, you know. Well, that's from me opening stuff and things, but that's fine. All right, sweet. So we made a percent today. You know, we were at 21.8.9-ish, something like that. So I eat you know, quite, maybe about. Maybe we're early 22. Maybe it was like 6.6%, 6 .6%, something like that. Not bad. Not bad. Um, all right. So we still have some smashing juice. So let's go take a look at... Uh, those are too hard. Um... Drawing a blank on where it is. Alligator Island and Field of Silence. Let's go see Field of Silence first, because I don't think I'm I don't think I'm big boy enough to go there yet. Um, so let's open this up. At least I don't think I am. Let's go see what we can find. Run faster, quick like the bunny. Let's see what we got here. Is that uh, dudes up there I can kill? Nope. Ah, here we go. Um, let's see how this goes. We're just going to... Well, hang on. We're going to do this gonna open this up and move it over here and we'll fire off a blessed a scroll of escape can we can we run full bore here or is it too hard are we are we okay dang baby dang I was surprised. Beautiful. Okay. Well, very nice. Um, okay. Not bad. I mean, it's not super fast killing, but it's decent, right? And if I sit and run Ogre here, I'm probably more than okay. So we can we can kill here. That is a good thing. And look at the XP, baby. Look at this. Look at these numbers. Fifteen billion. Fifteen point eight billion. Nice. Okay, we're we're smashing of the face. Uh, that's good. Uh, this is awesome. I didn't. I didn't think we had enough gear to kind of smash, uh, kind of roll here yet. Um, what'll make a difference is when these are gone. How it will be. 
Because I don't know that not having these, I'm going to be okay. I think I'm, I'm going to be behind. So that would... Uh, that's going to be the real factor, is whether or not we can smash without having, the, you know, some boosts. For now, it's decent. I like it. Um, so I'm guessing if we can roll here, we can roll an AI for sure. So um, probably full on provoke and everything. And even with the range targets, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, we've got five minutes left. I could go check just because we did want to check it. So um, that's Tanner Canyon. We know we can go there. Uh, hide. Let's go check Alligator Island. I'm sure we're okay. Without the rows, that that's that's gonna be the the factor, right? Um, that'll be the money maker. It's probably gonna be, yeah, a little bit challenging. Oh, we got some deads over here. So let's see what's up. What? Can you fight? What are you doing? Oh, wrong button. Okay, we okay, we killed pretty good here too. So definitely here is fine. I mean the fact that we clear spot is great news, right? Um, but yes, this is here's the factor. Whether or not we'll be able to do it without roses. That'll be the key. The others add some stuff. Plus three to basic stats is pretty decent too. Um, let's let them run out and kind of see what happens. We've got three minutes left, so I'm kind of interested to see if we can roll here without roses or not. We get less XP per kill here, but we're killing faster, so in the long run it might be more XP over time comparatively to Field of Silence or... Um, Yeah, the crossbow damage is not awesome, but um, if you kill fast enough, it's kind of negated anyways. So, and once it, it really, it's kind of the only time you really have to worry about it is after one, like coming up to a spot and having to clear the spot. Once the spot's dead, you kill everything fast enough that it's it's kind of a non-factor, like we're at now. So that's good to know. But the real factor is, will it work without the rows? That's a lot of damage to be giving up. 10% damage, 10% skill power, and 30% HP, and 30% P attack. Um, that's kind of a big deal. So we'll see how it changes without it. Two minutes to lift off but we have a golem in our back pocket we have ogre in our back pocket that we could potentially use as defensive extra killing help ideas options we'll see we'll see how it goes um, but it's good to know that I can roll in either place if I'm running roses, so that's great. Good, it, I mean, that's good information to have, right? It's probably still better for me to be in Tanner Canyon, to be honest with you, because I can probably kill there the fastest. Just managed to farm for the Whispers solo without roses. That's awesome. That's a good, um, that's awesome. That's a good spot to be in. I don't know that I could do that. Um, 
I think the best I was doing was running in forced mirrors. Um, single target. Um, during the 17th anniversary on Kronos, when they gave out the superior jewels, I could solo uh, AoE in Forest of Mirrors without a problem, <laughs> which was way fast. Fast? Uh, it, it might be. It might be. I'll have to see. We're gonna know. We're gonna know in 45 seconds. So we'll leave this up in case I gotta, I gotta buzz out quick. But uh, let's see how it goes. I always gotta be ready. I don't want to have to go get my is and then less res me and screw around like that. I don't want to deal with it. I'm just gonna leave. All right, moment of truth. All right, no more goods. No more goods and services. Let's see what happens. Are we safe? Are we gonna dip below halfway point? If we start dipping below halfway points, no go, no no good. Too squishy. But I I don't uh, I don't think so. I think we're okay. Yeah, of course we kill faster with a rose. You will everywhere you are, so that makes sense. But if we can smash here without it, that's sweet. I don't think we even need orc mode. I think we're okay. We're good. Full on. Full throttle. Pew pew. It might have to be on for the initial killing of a full group. But once a group is killed, keeping it is probably fine. We seem to be okay. Now trying um, Field of Silence is the real test. All right, so we're gonna stop this. I'm gonna go, we're gonna try, we're gonna try full group, full on, not even having everything. We're just gonna fire it off and do our thing, see what happens. Ooh, close. Oh, oh, Sonic Star, baby, for the win. <laughs> Sonic Star for the win. Okay, yeah, that was that was pretty close, but we should be okay. Close. So taking an initial blast, not so good. Probably okay with orc. Those range targets are just too too much. Without having an armor set, a little bit tough. Running roses, no problem at all. All right, let's uh, let's gain some HPs. Um, what did they say? Gluteo? No, glued in. Glued in and windy hill. Let's go get our stuff back and then we'll go try field whoa easy bro relax will this actually get our HP's back no not really it does not it was like <gasps> yeah a little bit a little bit It was like you were playing. I know, right? <laughs> I was like, ooh, ooh, 
Ooh, he got a little nervous. Got a little nervous. Okay, let's go take a look at... Uh, da, 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 da. Feel the silence. I think by the pillars we were good. Alright, they are still ready to go. No ranged ones to work to, to deal with here, so less of an issue. We kill slower for sure. Yeah, we're definitely more squishy here. Ooh. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Ah, sh shoot. Accidentally click the button. I just wanted to stay there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I did not mean to click on that. Why don't we do this? I just want to see if we can do, if we can spend some time here without having to worry about roses. Might not be able to, but we'll see. Run an ogre, we might be okay. We might not be. Tanner candy is probably still best. Without testing, I won't know. I'll have to do some more testing time-based wise, you know, over an hour or so, but see how it goes. Definitely with my is, no doubt about it. We can we can level here and just be Fine, no problem. Also, my is running debuffs. Oh man, this would, I'd kill it here. No problems at all. And it seems like we're okay with running Ogre as well. Plus I can make that plus 10. I make it a little bit easier. Probably be a little bit better. Getting a different weapon solves this problem all the, ooh. I've run Sonic Star more. I'm nervous. Ah, oh! can't do it. We get overwhelmed. Too much, too much at a time. All right. 
Dang it all. All right, let's bring my S. Of course, she has to run all of her buffs because that's fun. Didn't make it. But if we run her on our assist, I think we'll be fine. All right. Let's do a resurrect here. That was close. That was close. Uh, I do not while I'm streaming, though, because I'm doing too many other things at once. So what we're going to do is we're going to rebuff. So she should follow this and everything should be fine. Should have no problems at this point. But yes, I do use a mouse macro. Um, not when on stream because I'm doing other things and talking and moving things around. It would just mess everything up. But um, typically, yes. All right, with the yes, we're good. No problems. Solid. Unless, of course, she runs out of mana, which I'd have to watch. Seems to be raising up slowly, but uh, she's fine, so I think we're okay. Maybe that's the reason I died, because I'm using a mouse macro or not using a mouse macro. No, I'm I'm still quite squishy here because I mean I only have blessed exalted sets and I have a plus five augmented bloody Christmas armor. Yeah, we're uh, you know I don't have the best gear, so I'm pushing the boundaries of whether or not I should even be here or not. Um, so. Definitely the case. Um, it has nothing to do with anything other than that. Let's 
seems the chat is being a little weird. Let me refresh. Okay, that's all good. That's great. All right, perfect. I mean, it seems to be fine with the mouse macro too. I'm sure it's probably better with it, even. Well, I can dig it, this works. I was concerned, and you can see our mana is going up, so all the mana, mana time. Going to a place like Forest of Mirrors, probably not going to work. Non-stop computers. Welcome to stream. How's it going, man? Hey, you probably get this question a lot, but how are L2 private servers compared to what they were 10 years ago? Do you still get the same feeling playing? It depends on the server. Um, I have a bad taste in my mouth from private servers. If you look over the course of my Lineage 2 history on my channel, I did a lot of private server exploring. I presented uh, multiple different private servers. Um, they all had their pros and cons. I think most of the private servers that are out there, not all, but most are they're in it for money and they're there to flip themselves with a brand new cool name and do the same thing over and over you've been watching on and off for a while thank you very much for watching i appreciate that um so yeah you've probably noticed that i have played on private servers in the past um i'm probably not going to play on any private servers ever again because it's just not my my thing and after uh, things that I've had happen in the past, it's not something that I really want to take care of um, or even try. I, now, to be honest, I may play on them, I may, probably won't post on them, and I most certainly will not donate to them, ever. Not a single one. Um, a lot of them will sell information and account information and stuff like that to third parties. Uh, to make money, another way of making money while they flip the server every six months, let it get steamrolled because of all the known bugs in those particular instances of Lineage 2. Um, there's databases out there of what the bugs and, and things are and whatever version they're on. And um, typically they'll claim that they're all fixed and they never usually are. And then they just close down, shut down when there's no people playing on them. And two months later, they rinse and repeat. They try it again. Oh, sorry. No, this is retail. Um, this is the Lineage 2 core uh, on in the European servers. So this is the uh, Europe's official Awakened server. So this is a this is straight up. This is for real. Yeah, this is good. So. Um, that's my experience with private servers. Now, there are some servers out there that I know some people in my community do play and they happen to enjoy them. Um, 
Some of them are, they seem to be okay from at least what I've seen at first glance where they're PvP based, you can log in and you can get to a high level fairly quickly. They're like times 500, so um, they do their best to try to balance. So maybe some of those might be fun to play. It's probably not something that we would progress, uh, like, you know, present on our channel, but um, potentially, I mean, the door's not completely closed, but knowing the bad side and the darker side of what happens on Lineage 2 server, private servers, I tend to try to stay away from them, and if I'm going to put my money anywhere, I'm going to put it towards the company that's actually trying to still continue to develop the game. Um, and who I, who is a reputable company and is not going to sell my account information to somebody else. So that's the status that I've kind of taken. Um, plus, it's also against the terms and services to play on private servers. So uh, if I was to play on private servers and people saw that, and they could ban my accounts here. So that's something to consider as well. Chances are nobody would see it, but me being a public figure, I have to kind of adhere to some of those rules. So, so yes, I have played on NC West and the NA servers and on both Daya and Kronos. And I've played here on Anova, and I can tell you that my experience here on Anova is a far more pleasant experience than it has been on Kronos. Um, in the beginning on Kronos, it was a lot of fun. Four years ago, it was great. There's tons of people in the community. It wasn't um, as trying and toxic as it was in the past, or it is now. Um, but here, it's overall, it's a better experience on Core uh, between the two. I can't speak to the Korean servers or the Russian servers because I can't play them because I don't live in those countries. And yes, I know about VPNs. However, whenever I've installed the clients, I can't read anything because I can't read those languages. So it's really hard to play them. So I can't um, get through that portion of it. I would love to be able to play on the Korean servers or the Russian servers. Um, had they had an English client, I would check them out most certainly. Um, I think that would be great to be able to play with some of those people. Uh, I think that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, as far as private servers, I'm not really a big fan. And uh, here, I'm, I'm happy, you know, I went back and played on Kronos for a little while and uh, nothing's changed, it's the same nonsense over and over again, so. Here I'm much happier. The community seems to be a lot nicer. Um, the economy is better. It's easier. Your money goes further if you are an investing player like I am, which I'm not uh, a large investor by any means, but I, I, I put in what I can afford, which allows me to have more fun than I would like to. Or to me, it's a hobby. I want to present games. And for me to be able to present the game, I have to be able to progress faster than most people. Um, so I put whatever money I make from YouTube back into the game, which goes back into the channel, rinse and repeat. I'm not making any profit from doing what I do. It all goes right back into the channel on my character to help produce more videos. So um, for me, I just love the game and I love to look at it from a different standpoint than most other people do. Um, I typically won't take what somebody tells me for face value. I will go confirm whether or not it's accurate or true and then figure it out for myself. Um, I think that's a big problem with the community is that a lot of people say they know and they don't. Um, so there's that too. Yeah, the community is awesome. I, you know, all the players have been really nice. They've been really welcoming. Everybody's been awesome. Um, I've had a really great uh, transition. It's been an awesome two months. I've been, I haven't been happier in the game since the time I started, to be honest with you. Ciao, Hartman. Any servers, there's gonna be three of them now. Yes, uh, apparently on August 11th, they're opening an Aiden server. 
which is going to be an essence server similar to the core essence story master welcome thanks for coming out man good to see you it's awesome to see some familiar faces again and some new faces it's awesome trust but verify yeah so um if somebody tells me that this is the way you should do it i usually i'm like oh okay well, I'll, I'll check that out and then i'll go verify or try to verify if that's true um so that's how I kind of roll. I don't, um, just because somebody told me that that's the way it's supposed to be done doesn't mean that is the way it's supposed to be done. And it doesn't mean that's the way it's the best. A lot of times what I found is people are set in their ways. They're stuck playing what they know or what they've done for many years. And they haven't made any changes that could have actually made a difference. So they're just like, well, I've always done it this way, so it's got to be the right way. Well, I don't, I don't work that way. I always have to test and retest to see if there's a better way. You've played on uh, previously on Russian servers a bit. To me, it's different. Um, you get the 16-hour-a-day no-lifers, kids who are playing in their internet cafes still can afford half hour at a time. Interesting. Kaylee. Chow equals Kaylee. The pronunciation. Interesting. What um, country is that from then? I wouldn't think that ever. To me, it, it reads Chow, but uh, in, in the United States, that's a French word for see you later, but um, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, in any one of these games, not just Lineage 2, but any MMO, there's going to be the people that that's all they do. That's their life. Yeah, I don't have that kind of... I don't... When I was in my early 20s and these games came out, I spent 12, 16 hours a day playing these games. I'd go to work. I'd come home, I'd get some food on my way home, I'd eat in my car, and then I was in game, man, playing 12 hours, rinse and repeat. And then I'd go back to work, and then do it all over again. Um, that's what I would do. Uh, but I, I don't have time for that kind of crap anymore. So the fact that they implemented the auto hunting and things like that, that's extremely helpful because I can let the game run and I can go spend time with my family, enjoy my life, and come back. You know, the only time that I'm playing the game is when I'm in front of you guys streaming or I'm recording a video. Any other time, I'm in town selling or I'm, I'm running or... Oh, Kyle. Oh, not Kaylee. Well, it was totally different. <laughs> Kyle makes sense. Yeah, well, Kaylee did too, I guess, but um, from Brazil, gotcha. Um, yeah, it's totally a different concept uh, than it is now. The no lifers, uh, Eastern European mentalities. I don't. That's not just the Eastern European thing. That, there's people like that here in the United States too. Um, Mid thirties, two three hours playing something. Yeah, like I don't even have two or three hours to play something. The fact that I get to do this tonight is because um, the only time that I stream or I record videos is when my kids are in bed. So I'm not taking any time away from them. And my wife is at work. Um, and then I'm out doing, I, otherwise I'm out, I'm watching TV shows, I'm reading books, I'm running, I'm doing the things that I do in my own personal life. I'm not sitting at a computer playing on a game all the time. I don't have time for that. So the only time that you, that I'm in front of the camera or when I'm recording, that's the only time I'm actually live playing the game. Only time is when I'm in front of you guys. Other than that, the game's just running in the background and I check in on it periodically to make sure I'm not dead. Auto hunting. Oh yeah, so yeah, there's auto hunting. So I'm not I'm not pressing any key mouse or keyboard. I have a macro running and I have my auto hunt on. That's it. it it's doing everything on its own. I'm 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 out. I'm you know going doing something else. <laughs>
Oh! Yeah, no lifers that'll come hunt you down. Oh! Oh yeah, I dealt with that all the time. Yeah, I mean... I'm a streamer, so I'm a target. And a lot of, they, a lot of people thought, or maybe they still think that they can get a rise out of me if they come to my stream and kill me on stream or whatever, or want me to PvP with them, or, or any number of things. It doesn't matter to me, I don't care. It's part of the game, it's fun. I like it. I don't have any grudge over anybody. I mean, well, I've only been playing on the server for two months, so I don't have any problems with anybody. <laughs> but yeah, on Kronos, I had people that would come hunt me down and kill me every night. Yeah, every single night I would, I'd, I'd wake up and I'd be dead. I'd have to get started again. I just got up, went back to another leveling spot, checked it out again. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a thing. That's that's not just in in the Russian area. That's on all the servers. That's that's an L2 thing. <laughs> The population is okay. Um, it could be improved. It could be better. Uh, but I think it's it's a different mindset because to have uh, Kyle got it right. There's a premium account, so in order to run two clients, so I have me and my IS on the same computer, you need to have premium. Um, premium is only nine dollars, nine euros a month. Uh, I can tell you that it's cheaper than paying $45 a month to run Destiny and Prestige on Kronos. Um, so it's definitely... Um, it's definitely a better option in my opinion. Um, there is no Prestige, there's no uh, Destiny pack here on, on Core. They don't have that stuff. You have a one-time... 100% uh, uh, XP SP rune that you can buy from the market, which I've already used. Um, they usually add another one that you can buy during XP events. So you can buy an additional one. Um, but other than that, it's straight up no bonus or whatever. Um, yeah, right here. Look, we're 88%. No bonus. Um, had I had Vit, um, we'd have all these bonuses and everything, but yeah, it's real, real deal. So yeah, premium's worth it if you're gonna run more than one account, right, you know. But you get these PA points too, which you can use to buy consumables. So I don't remember what the, what you get for buying them, but every once in a while I'll say, you've acquired 10 PA points. So I just buy them to buy Vitality Pots all the time and I stock up on all this stuff. So Here's the same till you till you're on the blacklist. Yeah, at, at any place and any one of the servers has that stuff still. Nine euros equals 55 to me. Hard times. Ah, yeah, Brazil, the, the exchange rate to Brazilian um, is it is it ruples? I, I thought it was ruple. Brazil currency. Real, Brazilian real. Is that the that the, the normal thing? So the exchange rate of one dollar is 5.2 Brazilian reals. Um, let's do Euro. One Euro is 6.2 roughly Rias. I think that's how you pronounce it, Rias. So for you, yes, $9. Yep, would be, yeah, exactly, 55 Rias. So yeah, that's, that's hard, real, yeah, crazy. Yeah, the exchange rates are, are are insane. So people that are playing in different countries that are trying to play a pay-to-win game, I'm sure it's not easy for them. 
challenges. Uh, but it, can I say it's worth it? Yeah, I, I to me it would be worth it. Uh, I don't know what your finances are. I don't know what that equates to with you, how you are with whatever type of job you do and how much money you make. It, it might not be worth it to you. Um, to me, nine dollars a month is is not a lot of money. Um, I have a budget for what I want to do for fun and to play and to enjoy myself and have entertainment. And the money that I spend on this game is all part of that budget. It has nothing to do with the rest of my finances or how I pay for my house or any of that stuff. So, um, different way to think about it, really. But it seems better in Europe than NA. Yeah, I'm, you know, I went back to go look to see if I made a good decision. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel as though I made a really good decision to come play on the uh, European servers. So I, I've been nothing but pleased with my progress and my time and my enjoyment with the game and the people. It, it's just been so much better. So um, I've, I'm really pleased that I came here. The only thing that I wish I would have done is I wish I would have done this like, you know, 18 months ago when people were asking me to come play on, you know, court. You know, um, I was in a different time in my life then and I thought that private servers were the way to go and uh, I was mistaken, clearly. Um, I wish I would have went the route to come play on European servers. Um, I did it. I did. I really enjoyed my time on Skelf with Skelf, um, which was a European server. So I should have went with my gut on that and said, you know, I should come play on Europe. Um, I wish I would have done that then because I'd be much further along in the game than I am now. But um, other than that, I mean, hey, we all make decisions. We all make. Uh, calculated decisions uh, those were the ones I made it led me down this path led me to here at this point so I'm happy to be here now I am enjo I am thoroughly enjoying the maestro uh, I get the best of both worlds now because now not only am I a dwarf but I'm a maestro and my dual class is a dreadnought so when I want to go dabble back in what I really enjoy as a dreadnought yeah I, I can do that too so I'm pretty excited about that so yes, I've, I've been loving it, man. Uh, it's really working out. It's taking me a little bit to figure out how to play the class. It plays different than a, a Dreadnought, but um, there's similarities, but there are some differences and I had to figure out what those are, but uh, I'm enjoying both of them. They're both two of my favorite classes to play, so um, I could be happy playing either one. Downloading it, all right, Kyle. We're gonna see you on core, that's sweet. We picked up another one, everybody. Good times. I love it. Do you recall the times of L2 Radio? Um, privately broadcasted music podcast, 2006-2007-ish, run by L2 Player, sponsored by NCSoft. You know, it sounds vaguely familiar. Um, I can't recall or put my finger on what it was. Um, but... Yeah, that's different. Well, they have they have a dual class. That's it. Um, so, yeah, you, you, they got rid of all the subclasses. You only have a dual class. Um, so the days of when you had to have subclasses and you had to play a specific subclass to get a specific skill that helped your main class, that's all gone. That's you don't have that anymore. So it's only only dual class. So you can play either one, and they. I believe the skills that you get from your class. Come on. Um, all right, so that's good. Uh, your passive skills that you get also help. Uh, so your dual class skills, where are they here? So uh, dual certifications um, can help both. So. 
most were DJs uh, from the, the EU side. Nice guys. Um, I vaguely remember it. Uh, I probably saw it at some point. Um, my memory is not so awesome when it comes to times back then. Uh, so those were in the times of me working at Activision and working crazy hours to test video games. So um, it sounds familiar, but I, I, I couldn't tell you anything about it. So speaking of old school stuff, I keep this on my desk as a reminder of where I came from. A lot of you guys will get a kick out of this. Hang on a second. I gotta pull it out. Let's move that back. But I have a treat for you guys, which I'll do a video on this. I, I said I was gonna do a video on this a long time ago. But how many of you remember seeing this? An original Lineage 2 box that opens up. And this was a cool thing because games didn't do this before. Look at that. How cool is that? It would open up and I have everything in the box. Full, full on, all the things, pretty cool with, you guys are going to love this, um, the CD case with the serial code which I'm not going to show you, um, with the original CDs and everything in it, it leads to the Chaotic Chronicle. It has stickers, which I've never used. There's still, I, I don't even know if the adhesive works. Oh, it does. I could put those on my next computer case um, that I buy with Lineage 2 money. <laughs> and then here's the coolest thing. I still have the game manual, which has the instructions. It's the full instruction pamphlet. It's a full book, which has crazy awesome art in it, by the way. Um, Like, look at this. This is a it has got a table of contents and artwork. Yeah, this is cool. I keep this around to, to remind myself on occasion where I came from as a Lineage 2 player. To not, to try to humble myself because I remember the days of uh, C4, C3, C4 times and trying to go level outside of the Elven Village and getting PK'd by Reds and you can't even make a hundred thousand to buy, you know, that first bow or weapon that you want because it's 156,000 Adina, and that's just you make every kill is like 14, <laughs> like original X1 drop rate. So yeah, I have all this stuff, which to me is invaluable. This is uh, nostalgia at its finest. One day I'll do an, I'll do a, a re, I'll do a re unboxing of the game. So you guys got to see some of it here. So. I like to show that off on occasion because to me I, I think it's cool. Other people are, uh, won't find it as entertaining as me, but uh, maybe we'll read the manual together. That'll be my video. <laughs> I'll narrate it for everybody. I think it even came with a poster that it was like a, a small, maybe 15 by whatever poster, something like that. I don't know. 15 by 12. I think it was a small poster. I don't, unfortunately, I don't think I have that. Anymore. I got rid of that a long time ago. I'll have to do a video on it. I'm gonna have to rename this. Fun times with nostalgia. <laughs> hmm. 
You just found and bought a set on eBay? Had the original CD is CD case, but not the other stuff. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> what did it cost? A couple bucks? You just made somebody's day if you bought that. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, lineage to original game. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, eBay. Let's see. Assassin's Creed. Lineage 2 Asian Limited Box Edition PC. What in the hell? Dang, I feel like I need this. No, for $200 I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, you gotta check this out. Look at this stuff. This is like crazy. Oh, I can't even post that link. It's too, it's too long. Shoot. That sucks. Damn. What a bummer. Um, let's see. eBay, the Canada Chronicle PC game. 13 bucks. Oh, let me see this picture. You could have it by August 7th. <laughs> oh, I guess maybe it didn't come. Well, maybe it did. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here, look at this. Th this is what it was, I remember. Yeah, I used to have this. It came with a poster that was like that. I hope that opens the poster up, does it? Yeah, it should. Yeah, it was like a fold-out piece of paper or whatever. Crazy stuff, man. Games have come a long way since the inception of this game. That's for sure. That's the one you just bought? You seriously just bought this? <laughs> Why? <laughs> just to have it? I mean, I guess. It's cool to have though, right? <laughs> I mean, I have it. I bought, this is the original one I bought. I bought, this is the first game I, this is the first MMO like, I bought. I literally bought this game from Best Buy. Like, I, I looked at it on the shelf for like a couple months before I bought it. Like I had to like talk myself into buying it. Yeah, because I wonder how much it was back then. Does it have a code on it or how much it was? I don't know how much it was. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a, doesn't have a price ticket on it. I wish it did. I, I would imagine it was like 30 bucks back then or something like that. Recommended <laughs> recommended system specifications Windows XP ME 2000 or 98 NT and 95 is not supported. You should have a 1.5 gigahertz Intel Pentium 3 and 512 megs of RAM. <laughs> oh yeah, now the download for this is 24 gigs. Yeah, this game lies. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. So you got a deal for 15 bucks. Yeah, you did. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Just to have the nostalgia of, it has a smell. You know what I mean? Game, the, you know, it's like an old newspaper or an old magazine. It's crazy. I have vivid memories of taking this home, unboxing it and installing it and the excitement of my first character called Norik 
I even remember the first character's name. I don't have them. They're since gone because of the the god the goddess of destruction update. Um, but yeah, I was a level like 55 spell singer before it got wiped, if, and I didn't transition my stuff. But yeah, I could be uh, I could be a mage right now. That which was it was on the Erica server, and I would be I, I would essentially be on Kronos right now with that character had it not been ixnade with the update <laughs> man that'd be crazy i'd have some pretty cool stuff if i'd still have that original character well you gotta have the stickers you gotta have them i can put them on my guitar case honestly they'll end up going on my computer case Actually, they'll stay in the box for another 20 years. I'll show it in a stream 10 years from now, and you guys will be like, holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> Paying at an internet cafe is one to two hours. For... Oh my gosh. When your time ended and the PC locked, hope you were in a safe space. Oh my God, the anxiety. <laughs> You're like, I could be dead. I gotta go get my character and I gotta revive him. I don't have time. <laughs> oh, just have, yeah. It, it was a different time when there was internet cafe. I mean, there's still internet cafes, of course, but uh, yeah, now it's different. Um, now everybody has a computer. Those stickers alone will be worth money. Yes. <laughs> yeah, somebody will buy them. They're exactly they're important to somebody. You just paid fifteen bucks to buy the game again, which you already have and you can download for free. <laughs> so. You, yeah, you, like, you literally made someone's day today. It's always worth something to somebody. One person's trash is another person's treasure, isn't that what they say? Paid fifteen dollars for stickers in the box. Yes. So now you can put your items in the box and then keep it on your desk like I do. Honestly, when I have a better place to post my camera, uh, we've been re I'm refinishing my basement. So right now, obviously behind me, and my scenery behind me is not awesome. But um, eventually, when I do have the ability, to, when you see me and I have a space that looks like it's set up for YouTube and everything. Uh, this will definitely be sitting in the background, like so. Nobody can see that down there, but you guys get the idea. It'll be sitting out over my shoulder, and you guys will be like, wait, is that an original Lineage 2 box? It'll give people something to talk about when they come to my channel. I, I only played... Uh, I on once, um, and it was when I did the video for uh, whether or not you should play it. I think it did it back in 2018. Steel case, jeez, that's cool. That was neat when games came in steel cases, or well, aluminum cases. I have other stuff here too. 
the original Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Pretty cool. I should install that and play it. I'm sure you can probably download it. Star Wars. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on Steam. I can download it and install it on Steam. If I want to play it. November 19th, 2003. Very positive, very positive. I can't play the music because that would definitely infringe on copyright laws on my channel. So that's going to stay silent, unfortunately. <laughs> as badly as I'd like to fire off the uh, Star Wars theme. Oh, it's free? Oh, nice. Actually, I didn't even see. All right, let me look it up again. So you can download it free on Steam then? Or from StarWars.com? It's 10 bucks, it says. Oh, you mean there's no subscription? You just buy the game and then install it? Oh, gotcha. I'd probably have to buy the new one because I don't know if the one that I have is ported. <laughs> it's probably probably wouldn't install right on my machine because I'm Windows 10. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was pretty awesome. I mean, who didn't want to be a Sith Lord or a you know Jedi Knight? Super cool stuff. Well, I am pleased. We've made some significant gains and went from leveling in Silent Valley to leveling in Field of Silence. So that's pretty amazing. We can't solo here yet, but with Roses, we can. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and I have a stockpile of them. Um, actually, I put them, put them all away. Uh, I put them away. I don't have them now, so I definitely have enough for when an XP event comes. Gonzalo Sanchez, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming out, man. Clan is doing well. Take a look here. We have 32 out of 40 people, mainly because I kicked a bunch of people that were not, um, had no rep. Nalia, she sucks today, no rep. The hell, lady? Well, I've been, I've been doing other things, but um, yeah, I kick some mentees I probably shouldn't have. They're gonna add back tomorrow. But the clan's doing well, man. Um, we are where are we at. So we are about three quarters of the way through level four. We are pushing to level five hard, and pretty crushing it pretty hard to try to make it so we get to the point where we can have an ally and then have eight elite members uh, which is amazing because then um, we can have some officers and give them some rights uh, to do some other things we might close down the public clan and make it invite only but only the people that are um, elite can do invites I don't know we'll see. we've got options Cool, we're moving in the right direction. I'm excited. Uh, but um, some people have been really pushing hard on the uh, mentee action. I've been kind of going through it organically. Um, I have a plus three Atlas earring right now. So I've essentially graduated two or three mentees. Um, I've got 85,000 mentee marks right now. So... I've been kind of going through on my own pace. I haven't been pushing it. I just let them happen. Um, two of them I'm doing on my own so far. Um, if we go to mentoring, yeah, I don't even have a spot open. Um, I could probably remove, well, the one who heals is not healing. And M-Shot is my uh, 
character that I've been doing guides with, so he's past his seven day rune, so I could probably get rid of him. Um, so we could probably release the two of these and have open spots, but now I gotta wait the two days. Uh, Ralia will keep doing because she's, um, I need to get her to level 105, of course, but yeah, things are going well. Can't complain, man. It's going, moving in the right direction. It's slow going, but, um, obviously it will be because leveling plans is super slow, but, um, it's working out. I, I've already got my next upgrade. It's just a matter of getting the Adina uh, or sell some things to level up our seed bracelet to level three, and then we can add another Agathion, uh, which I'll pick up a Leo, I believe. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. But yeah, things are moving moving well. Things are doing great. It's good to see that there's a number of people here that are able to that have been subscribers of the channel. Um, I don't know if you guys heard at the beginning, or if you were here at the beginning, I mentioned, and maybe it says it when you first join the stream too, I don't know if it does, but um, whether or not you can chat uh, now. Uh, I've changed the settings on my streams to only allow people that have been subscribed to my channel for one month or more, um, mainly for a few reasons. One, I want to make it something that is for people that are loyal to the clan or to the channel to be able to speak and talk and two it'll keep a lot of people that are you know want to troll or mess with the channel or whatever it'll keep them out otherwise they have if they really want to troll me that hard they have to be subscribed to my channel to do so um, or at least wait a month to uh, make that a reality so um, we also have the option to turn to make it even harder to speak during live streams, which is be members only. We're not, I'm not enabling that now. Um, that's something we might enable later. If, yeah, we grow to the point where chat is just kind of crazy and out of hand, uh, but we're not there. So um, maybe someday we'll have to turn that on to keep chat from kind of going crazy uh, to the point where I won't be able to like keep up uh, right now it's manageable I can keep up because there, you know there's only a couple chats every minute or so so it's not a big deal but if we grow to the point where we get hundreds of chats in a minute it's gonna I won't be able to respond to everybody it'll just be too difficult today you got a lucky day a plus five clues bracelet no failing plus five metrons mask failed once dude go buy a lottery ticket that's amazing those are good upgrades. Um, nice work, man. That's that's super great. Um, I was able to pick up um, my some greater jewels, so I picked up a greater opal and a greater emerald, uh, which was super helpful. Trolls are everywhere. Just block them. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, they don't they don't stay here. Um, so yeah, one more. Uh, the next one I want to get is a vital jewel to replace my diamond. So a greater vital is about like 15 billion. So I have stuff to sell. Um, so I just got, once it sells, then I'll be able to pick that up and we'll have broach BR, which is great. And then work on getting those up to greater status, which will be sweet. Uh, so yeah, definitely got plans. Things are working well. Um, it's pretty nice. I'm, I'm really pleased with the progress, pleased with the gear, acquisition, acquisition. Um, yeah, things are awesome. I can't really complain too much. Um, you know, uh, I've been spending Aether on this and Aether is used in uh, making a lot of things so I think I'm gonna stop um, actually our crystals are too so I was spending the money to do this instead of because you can't buy aether can't be sold on a shop so you have to only acquire it on your own um, so yeah I think we're, we're going to get rid of that and stop doing it because I can then do crafting 
because uh, crafting's nice, and if we get to the point where we can actually do some upgrades, um, it'd be nice to start making sets um, if we can, which would be really, really nice. So I'm excited to be going down that step as well. I mean, it's worth it if you ha are in the middle of an XP event and stuff like that, sure, but um, I'm not... I need the Aether now. I actually have... I have a requirement and a use for it, so... All right, so that's all good. We have 382 uh, upgrade points, um, but I have nothing to upgrade because I don't have any Luminous, so... That requires a lot of money. 84 gems are great gemstones. It's totally not even worth it. Not until you get you're trying to work on your fourth luminous, which would be crazy. Um, I should probably just create one. Uh, we're not getting one anytime soon. I don't think any more things give them. Wait, what? Oh, okay. There was one there. Okay, so dual class. Getting your dual class, you get five of these. Oh. 10, 15, 20. Interesting. 20, 20. So there's 20 of them that you can pick up. Very cool. Um, okay, so I guess we'll wait. What's my gear now? So pretty, probably similar to what you've seen before. Um, we've got ourselves a plus five Namari mask. I have plus four, plus four, plus two dies. So legendary three dies. Skill power, skill critical damage, and skill or critical damage for basic attacks um, this could probably be changed over to P attack which would probably be better um, adding more P attack is probably a good thing um, same cloak and uh, belt uh, my weapon is actually worse than it was before because I tried to upgrade it uh, and failed twice so that cost uh, 16 billion for those tries both failed which is a bummer um, we got a plus five shield still no improvement on our earrings I got a plus five dragon rind shirt which is great uh, this is this is the big upgrade I got recently which is this plus 10 fallen angels ring which is huge because it adds that plus 20% P critical damage uh, and a plus five percent damage to immobilized targets um, that's pretty massive. And then uh, the greater jewels, and then um, everything else you've seen. Uh, I picked up a Sei 8 level 2 seed bracelet. I started using my Fairy Gathian charm for more P attack. And then um, I rounded out all of my artifacts uh, with level 4s for the, at least the ones that matter. So. But yeah, that's that's about it. Um, I've already prepped my second upgrade to Seed Bracelet level 3. Uh, so we're good there. I just need the 400 million to be able to do the upgrade. And we're fine. So I got to sell some things. Oh, we got a... What was the other thing? Um, I upgraded to a Veneer 12, which I don't know if you saw my videos, but I was doing some upgrading, and we've got some Veneer level 12. So yeah, nothing crazy. We're still... I still have a lot of work to do, but uh, we're making improvements every month, so things are working better and better. Obviously, we're in a better place. We can level in uh, Field of Silence now, so we couldn't do that before, so things are working well. One of the things I really do have to focus on is I need a, I need, I totally need an enhanced uh, runestone. But they're 20 billion. That's a lot for just that skill. Um, obviously, it adds 10% P attack, which is kind of big. So 
I don't know. And then we need to upgrade more of these to, uh, we need to get this up to plus 30, which will be a big jump as well. Um, yeah, once we get that up and that skill, then we'll be up to date on our skills, which would be really nice. So yeah, definitely some improvements, uh, but we have a long way to go. So, it doesn't look like I have any weird passive, oh, wait, what does that do? Recovers HP, oh, I did not know that, that's cool, we're going to leave that there, that's a good thing to have, I should probably cycle that, on and off, uh, what's this, Stone Golem Spirit. The effect has the same as a powerful siege golem for five minutes. The skill has a cooldown. Um, it consumes 10 R grade crystals. Um, for five minutes, P attack and M def, 50. Can I use this? For real? It's a transform skill. Do I have to have uh, go a golem mount to do it? I'm using golem spirit. Interesting. I'm gonna have to play around with that and see how that works. Cause for five minutes, P it, P and M def is 50%. I'd be able to run like anywhere with that. And bow resistance? That's nuts. Can I enchant that skill? No, of course not. Seems a bit far-fetched to be able to do that anyways. Will it just fire off? Doesn't seem like it. Interesting. Maybe, maybe you need a siege golem to have it out. Siege Golem Spirit. Sasha's skill, or Seha's skill, does not share CD with others. Oh, does it not? No, it, it, oh, do, I mean, it does HP recovery um, and MP recovery and CP recovery. That's kind of big. I can use that in um, Olympiad and, well, I'm just kind of out and about. Interesting. Yeah, one thing that uh, you should do if you're not doing it is 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 go take a look at your passives and, and make sure you identify everything that you're working on, um, and then check your active skills too, because sometimes um, you have a skill and maybe you didn't look through your list all the way. Um, Yeah, that's all castle stuff, obviously. Mentor Arts of Seduction. Is that an active skill? No, it's just active when you have a mentee on. Summon battle potion. So many interesting things. Oh, we have these too. Seha's grace. stack or no you can't so this one we can put down here as well for three minutes PVE damage 8% oh cannot be stacked with the other active skills 
Gotcha. Makes sense. So that's good to know. Um, PvP damage. Well, definitely want to put that here then. Um, receive damage 7%. That's pretty amazing. That's not a skill. Oh, it is a skill. For 30 seconds, party member's M attack is 400%. Wow. All right, we're gonna put that there. So many things, so many things. Good to know. Very good. Is it actually running? No. Doesn't matter. Alright, so... Oh, is that actually running now? It went away. Alright, so that doesn't actually run. Alright, we'll get rid of you. And move this over here. Fun stuff. Wow. If you're, if, if you have this and you're a, uh, like, a fail, wow, 400% M attack? That's kind of crazy to run. done today which we need to go do um, we are going to stop doing that and we're going to head back to town with her and we'll head back to Aiden with Clobber Stomp I haven't tried this yet but we're going to try it now we haven't done our Aiden instance today, and I haven't tried 115. So we're gonna try it now. So we got some more gear, and we'll see if we can do it. If not, then I guess we can't, but we'll at least we'll know. faster. Maybe we need Ogre. Seems like we do.
I don't know. Let's see. I'll get to the questions in a second. Um, I mean, I'm keeping everything like stunned for the most part, so it seems to be okay. Probably use pots here, yeah. Why not? Let's fire it off and see. All right, so let's turn this off. We have to go fight you. we kill the overseers first, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to do too many things at one time here. Ah, shit. Yeah, so it doesn't really work can't do 115 I'm not strong enough yet even killing the range mobs even if I would have got it I still would have been overwhelmed by more than one is just too much um, so that sucks um, crap we're gonna do this because then we'll be back in town and then we can res with Nalia. Well, good to know. Uh, we tried. It is a little bit difficult for us. Um, too bad. Um... But that's okay. We can go do 110 without a problem. So this will go really fast. So not quite there yet. Uh, I think having a, a big boy weapon, that would make some things differently. Um, for sure, right? Yes. John Woo. Shout out to the channel from Lockdown Sydney. Great videos. Thanks, man. Always enjoy your videos and live stream. Dude, it's awesome to have you here. I really appreciate you hanging out with us. Um, yeah, um, even with the pots. Uh, maybe if I would have started with the pots, it would be a different story. Um, I'll have to play around with it. Um, I wasn't really prepared. I thought it was going to be better than it was. Um, so... Yeah, okay, so I think I need a little bit more smashing of the face to be able to do 115. A little bit hard still. Um, if I had a set, like if I had a armor set, I think I'd be okay. I think that'd be the way to go. If I had an armor set, we'd be okay. Got to be able to take the hits. Bam, bam, bam.
Yeah, Sparta goes down a lot faster. We're getting close. We're getting close to being doing 115. It's the first time I've completed it before the uh, thing came up. So yeah, we're we're getting to that point where it's getting pretty close now, which is really nice. That's awesome. Sweet. Can't complain. Let's see if there's any Avengers on the uh, on the market. That had a bunch of pluses on it. What are you doing? Oh, <gasps> ooh, look at this guy. Ooh, and a 15 for a hundred? I feel like if it was bloody, it would be then worth a hundred. Not bloody, really? Just plus 15, a hundred build for that? A plus 19, 240. Damn guys, I could do some damage with that thing. Look at that bad boy. What do you think of that? Look at the base. The base P attack is it out, out maneuvers mine. And if I had an augment plus some some essays on this mother, woo, that could really smack some people in the mouth. So there are some uh, Avengers out there. I should save some money. Save the Adina. Uh, let's see if there's anything on the auction house. Do this, do this, and blunt weapon. What do we got? Plus 12 for 70 bills. Plus 15, it was 100, I guess, maybe. But if I'm already putting that kind of coin in, I mean, that's like... That's a dragon weapon, right? And it's not even leveled. I have to add a bunch of stuff to it. Although if that thing got leveled up, it it would that would hurt to get smacked by that thing. Nonstop is back. Here, look at this thing. I want to get one of those. What do you think? <laughs> It's only 240 billion. Imagine getting hit in the mouth with a plus 19. Oh, man. Soul shot and spirit shot damage 13%. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Plus, plus 12 is the limit. Not, now with this, it ain't. <laughs> plus 50, I can get a plus 15 and a plus 19 here. That's a lot. What is the soul shot damage on this? 10%? So it's an extra 3% soul shot damage and plus 4 for another 140 billion. Seems like not really an awesome payout. <laughs> but a plus 15 is not, not bad. The shine on that sucker, right? That'd be some shiny. It wouldn't... I don't know that it would look as good as a stage 3, but I don't have any stage 3s coming my way, and I don't have however many trillion to pick one up. But this is a plus 19. A plus 21, I think, is is on par with um, a dragon weapon level 1. So 240, uh, it's not... Uh, if this was bloody, that would kind of probably make it worth it. Oh, the one on the auction house? The 12 on the auction house? Let's go look. I might have missed uh, the all the stats on it. Let's see. Limited. Uh, it would say Supreme. Enhanced. So it still has to... I'd, it'd still have to be made bloody. So it is a little bit further along, and it comes with essays on it. The other ones does not. Yeah, I don't have the Adina for it anyways. These are all pie in the sky things at the moment. 
let's look at weapons as a whole. What's out there? Plus 28 Supreme Krishna Thrower. Damn. That thing's a beast. It's also 600 billion. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. No Antharis Avengers on the market. Not right now, anyways. Someday. All right, friends, I have been playing for, oh, geez, almost three hours. Uh, this is definitely over um, what we typically do. Uh, so by at least an hour, typically. But um, we've been having a good time, so thanks, everybody, for hanging out today. Um, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, it's awesome to see you guys here. Thanks for coming out. Um, if you're new or you're returning, please join the Discord. Uh, it's the easiest way to get a hold of me during the week. I'm very active on Discord. I make sure to try to make myself as available as possible to talk to people online. Um, if you haven't made it to the live stream or if you watch the live stream and you can't speak yet because you're still in your uh, one month uh, subscription. Hear people uh, try to sell plus 21, 1.5 trail. Yeah, I don't know, man. I haven't seen yet. Um, maybe they do possibly yeah it's crazy but uh thanks for watching everybody join the discord it's easy way to get a hold of me uh subscribe like and share all that good stuff it's really helpful and um enjoy the rest of your weekend it's good to see you guys and uh, have a good one thanks for watching everybody uh, let's do some shout outs let's go take a look at who has subscribed recently and do some Endgame shoutouts. YouTube Studio. Take a rest. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go to go to bed after this. Uh, recent subscribers. Let's see all. Take a look at the last seven days. Um, Harry Belfour. Camilla Katab. Russian name I can't pronounce, which looks like a Reckoninian. Topo Rappa. Brick. Eduardo Ars. Sicilian. Siscolin. Don't really know how that one's pronounced. Tiago Aguiar. Chaterario. These are some sweet names. I love them. Ozean. Taka Taka Torn Corn. Wang Chang Ching Chaya. Wang Chaya. Chaya? Chaya. That's a cool name. I like that name. Simon Lee. That's one I can pronounce. Bloss 515. Let's take a look at the last 28 days and get a couple more. Gun Falar Zarazi. Um, Mark Umi. Jesse Sewell. Uh, Elver G. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Honey X Beep. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thanks for subscribing everybody i appreciate it have a great day enjoy your weekend as always be safe out there and be well take care everybody <laughs>